So it wasn't until, you know, it was, it was really close we realized that it wasn't just normal, normal clouds. It was kind of this crazy, bizarre fog. Crazy, bizarre, and hundreds of feet tall. A towering edifice of fog was looming over the flabbergasted fishermen. And it was about to swallow them whole. You see sort of sandstorms over the desert, and that's kind of exactly what it, what it looked like. In all their years out fishing, they'd encountered fog many times before, but it had never looked like this. The effect was mesmerizing. I was shooting the video and my dad was just kind of staring at it because we were in just general awe of it. It stretched, um, you know, as far as you could see up and down the up and down the coast. The fishermen were about to be engulfed by a tsunami of fog that stretched the entire length of the lake. But it wasn't a unique case. The same freaky phenomenon has previously spooked residents of a town on the shore of Lake Huron. Looks like tsunamis coming to Saga Beach, dude. And in San Francisco. Oh, it's swallowing me up! It's swallowing me! Even as far away as Taiwan. So what was responsible for this monolithic murk? And why had it appeared on an otherwise perfect day on Lake Michigan? The phenomenon that people have described as a fog tsunami is like an enormous wave, but made out of cloud. And it can be seen traveling across the water uh, like a like an inundation, really. At the beginning of summer, the water in Lake Michigan can be cold still, whilst the land is being warmed up by the increased sunlight. If the water is cold enough, then when air blows onto it from the land, it can be cooled down to a sufficient degree that the moisture in the air turns into the droplets which we see as fog. 